Hey guys, so in today's video, I just wanted to break down every single trade that I took last week. I thought I would do this kind of weekly recap so you guys can see all of the winners, all of the losers, and every single trade that I took was utilizing the ICT Judas Swing model. So this will give you a good idea of exactly how it pans out over the course of the week. So without any delays, let's get straight into it, right? So let's start off from Monday. So on Monday, we opened up with an explosive move to the downside and then we consolidated over the Asia session. So I won't bother replaying all of the charts just because that might make the video too long and I just want this to be exactly straight to the point. So let's start off by quickly going into replay mode and dropping down to the 15 minutes so that we can see what kind of market we're in. So as we can see from this, we are in a bearish market, right? We've got the lower low, lower high, and the lower low. So we're anticipating price to come up into a area of interest where we can then take price down, right? So that's how I was seeing the markets, this being our lower high, this being our lower low, and anything in between is just complex uh, structure until we either break to the downside or the upside so this is what was happening and then i had this area marked out where i wanted to take price down from so i had it marked out i woke up in the morning jumped on the charts and i saw that this was the asia range so we've got the asia high and we've got the asia low so next up as we always say we're waiting for a break of structure into our area of interest so let's take a look at it together so that we can understand the thought process that i was going to here we go so we've got our lower uh, high low high 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 low high 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 low failure to create a higher high break of this higher low to the downside creating a lower low we've got our area of interest marked out our fair value gap and we want price to come up creating a lower high before taking us to the downside right so as i posted in my telegram on this day i did end up taking a loss on this trade and as i said never mind i'm sure there's going to be tons of opportunities in the markets this week but like i said i do share my losses and my wins at the same time just so i can be completely transparent with you guys so let's take a look at what happened price came back up tapped us in and immediately took us out right if we take a look at the overall trade we can see that it fit our confluence right so a lot of you guys messaged me about this trade as well asking me what went wrong what they done wrong but all i can simply say is you have some losses and you have some winners you can't cry over your losses you just have to learn from them right this trade i thought was absolutely perfect i didn't see any issues we had our market structure shift we had a higher time frame area of interest. We had our fair value gap. We had everything marked up exactly how it should be. And all the confluences were there. And unfortunately, the trade just didn't go our way. So we can't let this influence us and it can't you know, ruin our trading week. We have winners, we have losses. But as of Monday, I was minus 1% on my trading account because I've risked 1% per trade. So I started a week off with a loss, but I didn't let it deter me. So let's just keep it moving and move forward to the next day. Let's quickly hit the four hours and we can move forward to the following day. Here we go. So I've woken up in the morning and as we always do, we mark out our Asia highs and our Asia lows. So I had it marked out. And one more thing that I do like to do is just take a look at my directional bias just to see what we're doing. So yesterday's higher time frame bias was that we were in a downtrend because we had a lower low, lower high, lower low. So we're waiting for this to break so that we could see the momentum shift to the upside, which we got right here, right? So once we got this momentum shift to the upside, now we're technically in a bullish market because now we've got a higher high, higher low, higher high. And then we've come, we've swiped this with wicks, but again, we don't like wicks. We want a full body closure 
for it to be a significant change, right? We don't want to see these wicks because wicks are insignificant. So my bias was still bullish and that is why I was looking for buys. So if we drop down to the one minute, again, same as always, we've got a sweep of the Asia lows. And upon that sweep, we're now waiting for a market structure shift. So we've got our lower low, lower high, lower low, and a break to the upside, breaking this lower high, giving us this higher high, which means we've now got our market structure shift. Next, we mark out our fair value gap. We put our limits at the uh, open of that fair value gap, stops below the low, and target in the opposite liquidity. So I had this marked up, and again, unfortunately, on Tuesday, I ended up taking another loss. So for the week, I am down 2% now after this trade. That is unfortunate, but again, I did post this in my Telegram saying, oh, she want to do me like that, because straight after markets took us out, EU decided to fly, right? Ended up going and hitting the target. Oh, I think I've jumped too far, but yeah, so let me just go back really quickly. And uh, on that day, it was very unfortunate. So for a lot of people, this would have been very disheartening because it took us out by literally a couple pips and then ended up going to hit target. Now, I saw that myself and, you know, I did put, oh, she want to do me like that. Markers have been terrible this week. Anyone catch anything good? So that's me down 2% for the week. Markets didn't want to give it to me on the Tuesday. And uh, yeah, what can I say? That's just how life goes sometimes. But you can't, again, let this deter you. You just have to keep moving forward. And let's just move on to now Wednesday, where now we start getting some momentum, right? We start seeing some trading action happening. We start seeing some good profits. So let's move forward and see what the markets are giving us. On this day, I checked the higher time frame, and if I'm completely honest with you, I was very unsure of what was going to happen. We've got this low and this high, and we've got a lot of complex structure in the middle. So this is telling us that there's no real directional bias that I was seeing. So I was open to taking trades on either side. I was happy with taking buyers and sells. So I just wanted to see some sort of sweep of liquidity and then I was happy to go from there right so let me just go back I think I went too far forward here we go sorry about this guys I am currently on holiday I am traveling so that's why I haven't got my setup with me so just bear with me but let's just get straight back into it here's our Asia highs our Asia lows marked up and we get the sweep to the upside and then we see the market structure shift so let's map it out together. We've got the high, 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 low, high, high. And now I'm waiting for this to break before I take any sort of trades. And once we get this break to the downside, I then went off and marked out my fair value gap. And the reason why I've got it marked like this is because I actually had it on the five minute. And the reason why I had it on the five minute is because I will show you in a second. Let me just replay it right here. Okay, so I had it marked out like this. And the reason why I had it marked out like this is because in this trading range, there was a lot going on. There wasn't anything really clear. So I couldn't really see where I would put my entry. So I decided to go up one bit and go up to the five minute and we had a nice fair value gap right here so i thought you know what let me just put my entry there on the five minute and see what happens price did move around for quite a while before coming up to tap us onto our entry but after that it was smooth sailing and check it out bang our first take profit of the week and this was a beautiful one to three risk to reward so now that's put me positive one percent for the week right so see how that works guys i took a loss on monday that's minus one percent i took another loss on tuesday that's minus two percent now in that moment a lot of traders would actually get disheartened they would you know start revenge trading they wouldn't stick to their strategy but 
that is the real key of being a very good and profitable trader you can't have your emotions involved right i took those two losses but i carried on with the exact same strategy i didn't chop and change i just practiced what i preach right i took this trade and now it's put me positive one percent for the week and again if we go back to my telegram we can see that i just landed in dubai and i had this trade running and a couple minutes later full close with tp being hit at the asia lows so i did post this over here in my telegram and i'm just showing you guys here too so now i'm positive one percent for the week so let's keep it moving and see what happens on the following day and here we go oh again i've gone too far you're gonna have to bear with me guys as i said i am haven't got my setup with me so i am struggling a little bit but here we go we're going to thursday here she is so i've woken up on thursday and again i've marked out the asia highs and the asia lows let me just put this in replay mode so that doesn't happen again drop it down to up, go up to the 15 minute and on the 15 minute this was a similar situation to what happened on wednesday right we've got our high here and our low here and anything in between is again complex structure and all of this complex structure is something that we don't really like so because we don't have a solid directional bias i was open to buys and sells so i've marked out my asia highs and my asia lows and what i've done is i've seen the lows get swept and now i'm waiting for a market structure shift so we've got the sweep right here and the market structure shift right there all in one go everything's happening really really fast we've got our lower high lower low lower i said that completely wrong we've got our lower low lower high lower low and then we've got this higher high being created right here and now we want a higher low before taking price higher right nice and simple we've seen the market structure shift and we have placed our entry on the fair value gap that we've marked out and for some reason it's not on my chart so let me just show you where i had my fair value gap marked out it was right here like this beautiful price came in tapped us and again hit take profit so are you seeing what's happening here guys the first two days i took losses but i didn't let that deter me because on wednesday we got a one to three risk to reward trade which ended up putting me one percent in profit now we've taken another trade which has given me one to two risk to reward so now i'm three percent up for the week even though at the very beginning of the week i was negative two percent so let's just go back to my telegram and again we can see i was having a lovely breakfast and my take profit got hit beautiful beautiful trade with a beautiful beautiful view and breakfast but let's go straight back onto the charts and let's move on to friday last trade of the week let's see what happens let me go on to the four hour push us up push us up here we go we're getting ready right so again 15 minutes this entire week we just had very choppy price action again we've got this oh no we've got this and this complex structure in the middle we don't like complex structure we don't really have a directional bias so again we're open to buys and sells so let's drop it down to the one minute and see what is going on so all throughout asia session price is consolidating around doing whatever it wants to and here we go we get the sweep right there beautiful and now we're just waiting for our market structure shift so again let me just reiterate the judas swing strategy we mark out the asia lows and the asia highs we wait for a sweep of either side and once we've got that sweep we look for a market structure shift this is our sweep of the asia lows and now we're waiting for a market structure shift so let's mark out our structure so that we can see the shift happen 
So we've got our lower low, our lower high, failure to create another lower low, right? So now we want to see price break this lower high, giving us a higher high, before coming down for a higher low and taking price up to a higher high, right? So let's see what happens. We get the break right there, beautiful. And then if I'm completely honest, on this day, I thought price would completely take off without me. I had this fair value gap marked right here, which got missed by literally pipettes, right? My broker didn't tap me in. And I thought, you know what? I feel like price will still come back down to tap me in so I left this trade running price done whatever it wanted to and it came back to tap me in EU didn't do me dirty she came back tapped me in and let's see what happens chopped around for a bit but then bang nice and beautiful TP to end the week strong so remember guys we were negative 2% Monday, Tuesday. Then we got a three risk to reward trade, which put us positive 1%. Then on Thursday, we got a positive 2%, which put us on 3% for the entire week. And now on Friday, we've got another 3% trade, which has put us overall 6% in profit for this week. And again, we started off the week negative. So I just want to drill that into your heads, guys, that just because you have a few losing days, you can't lose patience and you can't then end up, you know, not sticking to your strategy or chopping and changing because that's what you call an inconsistent trader, right? So let's go back to my telegram. And as we can see right here, great way to end the week, beautiful trade and beautiful views, right? absolutely incredible scenes beautiful trades that's what we like all right so overall i'm six percent positive for this entire week i just thought i'd do this quick recap because i wasn't able to break down each individual trade over the course of last week just because i was traveling and i have been traveling my time zones are a little bit different i don't have all of my equipment with me so if you guys do like this style of video, which is a little bit longer, but it breaks down each individual trade just so you get an overview of the entire week, do let me know in the comment section below because then I can start implementing more videos like this. If you did like this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, leave me a little comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.